now for another look on outside what is a beautiful afternoon it is beautiful hey if any of you are on twitter um go on to my account uh, natasha coin six and take the poll we're taking a poll a very important poll and we want to know how you feel when you hear that we're going to have a 90 degree day here in may and we're not even into the middle of may and how often does this happen only one percent of the time in the entire month do we get a 90 degree day when we look back on historical records, at least as measured at PDX. Right now, it is 78 degrees in Portland. Uh, I want to go back to Hurricane Ridge here. Just want to point this out. Notice all these clouds kind of banking up against the mountainside. This is more evidence that we have an onshore flow right here west of the Cascades. Onshore flow is in full force. That onshore flow is so important in how our temperatures feel right now. 78 degrees in Portland. If we didn't have that, our temperatures would be a little bit warmer right now. Uh, Mount Hood Meadows, 54 degrees, and that's at the base. Over to Seaside, similar temperature here, 55 under the clouds. Yep, that marine layer in place right there at the coast. Lincoln City, 57. Same story for you there. In two days, though, our coastal temperatures could get closer to 80 degrees. Now, where are we compared to yesterday? We're about eight degrees cooler in Salem. Not much of a difference though in Eugene. Uh, our temperatures are going to jump up back to the low 80s tomorrow. How about those morning temperatures though? You know, this morning we had plenty of temperatures in the valley that were in the 40s. Uh, Portland was at about 52 degrees, so we're going to dial it up a little bit more. So tomorrow morning, waking up to temperature more like 56 degrees in Portland, and we look at Vancouver 54 along the coast to be right about 50 degrees, waking up to 53 white salmon. So <sighs> this wind direction, huge player. Notice as we get to Wednesday and Thursday, though, that onshore flow turns to an offshore flow. So winds coming out of the east northeast and wind of velocity is going to increase in a very big way. So what does that mean for all of us? Things are not only going to be drying out, getting windier, they're also going to be heating up. So our warmest days ahead, we start off Thursday morning getting gusts right there through the western end of the gorge between about 30 to 35 miles per hour. And notice how this influences it finds the path of least resistance any way it can heading right over to the beach and we're going to see some gustier winds at the at the coastline. You know what that's going to do? That's going to heat us up there at the beach and remove all those clouds. So it'll be a nice looking beach day. But your temperatures are going to be well above normal across the board here. We get through Thursday. The offshore flow continues. This is what it looks like in our weather pattern. That big ridge of high pressure eventually will flatten out but not until we get to next Wednesday. So for your seven day forecast, we're expecting, yes, some relief tomorrow at the beach. Your daytime highs, the last cool-ish day, will be in the low to mid 60s. Here we go. Inland Valley temperatures right around that 90 degree mark, though, by Friday and noticeably warmer by Thursday. So I was the first person to vote oh, in good. the poll, and I said yes. Yes. Uh, but right now, the no's are leading 55 to 45 People percent. don't want no, 90 degrees in May. Nope. Right. But I voted yes so on the record, and I I get something for being first. Oh. I don't know oh. what it is, but oh. I might give it to myself. Go ahead and think on I'll that. I'll think about that. Let them know. Coming up next, today marks one.